In Final Cut Pro 10.1, you edit in a timeline. Just as in previous versions of Final Cut Pro, there's two types of timelines, project timelines and compound clip timelines. Every project equals a single timeline. In prior versions of Final Cut Pro, I mainly use compound clip timelines to eliminate using a two-folder system. One folder for events and one folder for projects. Working with a single folder made media management and archiving much simpler. The Final Cut Pro team changed 10.1 to a similar one folder system with libraries. But even with 10.1 single library system, I still find myself using compound clip timelines along with project timelines. I've created a library with an event called Timelines 2 in which I've made some projects and compound clips. With Final Cut Pro 10.1, you can now make project smart collections. Right-click on an event and choose New Smart Collection. I'm naming this Smart Collection Projects. Double-click on the Smart Collection to bring up the Smart Collection filter window. From the drop-down menu, choose Type, and then Project. All projects will be contained in this Smart Collection. I'm going to make another Smart Collection for the Compound Clip Timelines. I'm going to add some clips to the Project Timeline 01. This is the first reason I don't like using projects for timelines. They are no longer skimmable. You can scrub a compound clip timeline in the browser. Now I'm going to add the first project timeline to the second project timeline. Actually, Final Cut Pro does not allow you to add one project timeline to another project timeline. Let's try it with a compound clip timeline. You can indeed drag a compound clip timeline to a project timeline. This is advantage number two for using compound clip timelines. The single folder structure of libraries in Final Cut Pro 10.1 keeps projects inside an event. Select the event, go to the file menu, choose export event XML. I'm saving the file to my desktop. Go back to the file menu and choose Import XML. Back on the desktop, click on the XML file we exported. Importing the event XML file created a brand new event. Inside events we have, there are no projects. Projects are contained inside of events in Final Cut Pro and in the Finder, but they are not contained in the event XML. Even though projects are contained in events, the projects have separate XML files and are not included in the event XML. Projects have to be managed separately from events using XML. Even though the compound clips are not showing up in the Smart Collection, I know they are there in this event. So what's going on? The Smart Collection resets back to the default type, which is Auditions, in the XML. Here's another thing to be aware of. When you duplicate a project in Final Cut Pro, watch what happens in the Finder. Every time that you duplicate a project, a new folder appears in the Finder. 10 project timelines equals 10 folders in the Finder. They may be behind the library's Wizard of Oz curtain, but they are still there. Inside each folder is a single project timeline FCP event file. If you have 10 projects and duplicates, you can't scrub them in the browser. You have to double click each one to see which one is the one you want. When you duplicate a compound clip timeline, no additional folders appear in the Finder. You can do everything in a compound clip timeline that you can in a project timeline. For example, you can set markers and search for them in the Compound Clip Timeline Index. 
There are a few advantages to using project timelines. If you don't mind all the extra folders in managing projects one at a time, you do have a separate XML file per timeline. Since Final Cut Pro keeps timestamp backups of your library files, and there are several third-party backup apps, file corruption should not be a problem if you use a good backup strategy. The second advantage is the duplicate as snapshot command. This command gives you a frozen in time copy of that project. If you have any compound clips or multicam clips in this project timeline, they are frozen at their state when you make the duplicate and will not update if you update their sources. There you have it, compound clip timelines and project timelines in Final Cut Pro 10.1. Thanks for watching.